Hello and welcome to Geek It Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look how to set up indoor lighting. So let's go begin by importing object. In this object, I create just a hexagon very fast so we can preset kind of building. And again, if you need these objects, this will be available in the um, project files if you purchase DVD. So we'll go main camera, unchecked height and we'll just place it inside the box. Okay, actually, I want to rotate the box. What I did it, I just create a simple box with a like window open. It's about right here. Okay, if we render right now just our default settings, this is what we're getting a very flat like 70s computer graphics so let's make it look more modern and realistic the couple things what I want to do it is um, add objects so room doesn't look so empty so let's go to file load object and we'll use the objects from um, interior default from furniture let's go ahead and take table okay and We'll go ahead place table just right about the window. Or this table. Is it somewhere like maybe around here? Okay, let's take our main camera, move just slightly above. So we can overview floor. Okay, and maybe add a um, bookshelf with uh, some books on this. So let's go ahead. Just make it about that size. I'll just go ahead and place it against the wall. This is our preset. Next, we'll start working on um, Atmosphere Editor. And we'll render several times till we're going to our process. The one actually um, interesting about indoor rendering we want to use its standard model not a default spectral because the spectral won't give it us any performance actually it will even harder to control it so let's go to the Sun now and we'll just okay, remove there any options we'll go inside the light and of course we'll switch to global radiosity this is one with, which is light will bounce in the reflection and provide realistic look next uh, we want to uncheck the optimize for outdoor settings. It will remove a lot of ambient lights around. As well is overall sky color. Let's switch this to the white. Okay. Um, next couple things we want to do. We want to increase gain. Maybe to about 35. As well as a sky dome lighting. Maybe about 40. Okay, um, light color because we don't want to produce any from the side. And I show you a couple things we can do before, but we can edit this color to make it dark so it won't be affecting us. And on this case, if we make it dark, the light intensity won't make any changes at all. But as well, we'll go all the way to the ambient light now because we will, it's what we want to use it and set our lights to white for this test. Okay. Um, in the final render, we do want to modify quality boost for the better. But for this test, let's go or leave it like this. And we'll go to the final preview. Let's render this is step. Okay. Here is our image, which has come nothing too close. You can see it lights for some reason right here come up, all this haze. So let's fix this one. We'll go to the tab fog and haze. And of course, we'll just disable everything there you can see instantly we don't have this blue overlay anymore okay in our um, sky let's just load a default white was okay now inside the lighting we'll start modifying overall it's maybe look a little bit too dark to black so let's go ahead and I'm based in edit and just add a bit more grayish so lighting up slightly okay as well we'll take sunlight to this point 
you can delete or we just put it below ground so it won't be on our way. Now we need to produce the, some other light source. So let's create a point light, the standard. I'll just place it some around here. So it will produce lights through the window. Next we'll go ahead and increase density of this light. Okay, slightly adjusting. Okay, let's render this step. Okay, you can see we have a much more realistic look now with the additional lights go through the window, which are reflecting. Um, but we still have the bleeding right on the sides, and we can use uh, fix this with uh, subray um, sub pixels when we're going inside the rendering. But lights doesn't look that um, too real still. So let's go to atmosphere editor. Next step, what we're going to do, it is increase gain. So we'll have it a little bit even more. Okay. As well, we'll go to increase sky dome more. So we'll give it us more reflection lights bouncing. At this point, let's pop up slightly quality. So we'll have it see as well what is different it will bring when we increase quality boost. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and a couple things you can modify if you want it. You can go on a point light and you can enable use shadow maps and just slightly decrease. However, all this changing you need to understand that will increase time rendering for you. So be careful when you have it too much quality edit. It's a nice balance between performance and quality. If you want these lines to be more soft, you can enable. Um, they won't be look great in final, but will look much better when we stop switching. But I will leave it for ray tracing right now. Okay, and here is our step. Okay, here with boosting quality, you can see we have more even light distributing everywhere. Let's go now and do a couple more things. One, I want to add additional light, so it will make it a bit even more um look complex and we'll switch this light to a little bit yellowish like it's inside a lamp maybe indoor lamp going right here with uh, reducing to about 30 percent so we have uh, two different sources of the lights and now let's go to our render options we'll go to user settings and in user settings we I'll again will disable depth of field all the stuff we'll enable soft shadows we'll go quality and here what we're going to do it's leave it about the same only maybe increase 12 and 24 as well on the texture let's put it 8 and 16 okay we'll increase quality as well okay, with these settings let's see our test so here is our final image and you can see it's very nice very smooth shadows very realistically looking with the multiple lights and multiple shadows going from different uh, sources light sources by modifying the power of them we can um, change which one we want brighter and lighter currently about matching each other and um, before we finish this lesson let's look on a couple more options that will help us enhance this image even better okay so we go to again atmosphere editor and inside atmosphere editor few options you want to kind of modify and play it is overall gain in a base if you want it so we can go all the way higher and modify as well color this is will effect this light bleeding and other effects if you notice as well the quality boost the higher the quality boost the better it is and smaller shadows is but you need to understand every step what we've done before it's almost double time from previous uh, for the rendering so the more you're using this the higher and higher time it will be also in v7 you have it now shadows moving this will allow you to manipulate with the quality of the shadow again this is directly will related to the quality and to the time you render 
5k as well um, because we don't use it sun this is option is not really available but um, if you want it you can control with additional uh, sunlight this is, will provide just more indirect lighting to your scenery okay as well as a overall ambient light if you want to decrease make it a little bit darker you can notice it will affect overall slightly not that significantly but will affect uh, some of your scenery again remember the mostly in fog and haze if you have a blue color just disable put them all the way to the zero okay thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com